I know you married with kids people have a hard time remembering what you did when you were single. <laughs> um, I hear that a lot actually, like, what do single people do with all their time when they're not, you know, devoting it to their husbands or wives and their kids and all their responsibilities? And the answer is I have dance parties with my dog. Yeah, pretty much. It's five o'clock and you can see like the herd of employees migrating to the parking lot. So I just got off of work, obviously. Um, and right before I did, I checked my, um, I have my student loans through Great Lakes. So I checked my balance and I had almost forgotten that my auto draft payment came through. It goes through every month on the 20th, though after this month, never again. Yes, um, and it took me from, uh, $1,211 in debt to 900, I almost said 9,000, what? To $996 in debt, which means I officially have less than $1,000 in debt. What? Okay. Oh, it feels good, man. <laughs> it feels awesome. And in probably just, you know, a few days, I'll have $0 in debt. So, <laughs> I'm pretty freaking thrilled. Ah, I don't even know how to feel about having less than a thousand dollars in debt. If I wanted to use my emergency fund, I could just like whoop that. I'm not gonna do that, but I could. I could, but I will be patient and wait just a couple days to get paid. Bye. Bye. Under a thousand. Further proving that I have no shame, I am like straight up stalking the markdown guy who is going through and well he's, he, they're not supposed to mark stuff down, like meat and stuff until like midnight, but he said the 10 o'clock guy isn't coming, so he's trying to save some work for the 4 o'clock guy. So I'm catching amazing deals and I talked to him and he's cool, uh, but yeah, I love a good meat markdown, y'all know me. Hurrah. What are we doing? We walk in after a long day of you being left at home, home alone. Say, Mama's a meanie. Rory, Rory, what you doing? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Found a fun little thing where, like, to get out of my apartment I have to go under this overhang that is like the the drop for all of the rain on the roof so I do have an umbrella which helps taking Rory out to walk this morning was a little interesting because she didn't want to be out and I didn't want to have to take her out but she needed to go so um, and, but then I got all ready for work and I'm in the car and my ooh, Excuse me. Apparently, I left my little door light on, just barely, because when I looked up, it was like halfway between door and on. And so when I left, when I took my groceries in from Aldi last night, apparently I didn't knock the light all the way off, and so my car is, um, the battery's dead. So I called roadside assistance. And it's been over an hour, and I'm still waiting on them to come to come here. Uh, I had to call and like be like, "Where are you?" Because you said you'd be here, you know, 20 minutes ago. And they're like, "Oh, it's gonna be another 20, 30 minutes." Sorry. So that's that's not the best. Though I do, I am thankful that I have roadside assistance because, you know, if it well, if it were sunny out, I'd probably just like knock on a couple neighbors' doors and be like, "Hey, can you give me a jump?" But it is right now. It is barely letting up. A little bit and it's still raining it's been like pouring so yeah um, I'm late for work I'm about an hour late for work at this point I called in and said hey cars dead I'll be there as soon as I can it's no big deal but I kind of like I want to be at work so I can get stuff done versus being in my car not getting anything done and I'm supposed to stay in my car it's not like I'm I can go back to my apartment because if Papa Lock sh or the place shows up and I'm not here, they're just gonna leave. <laughs> and I don't want to give them that excuse. So, fortunately, I had 
my breakfast bar with me. So I'm eating. I'm trying not to fall asleep in my car right now. Oh, good way to start my day. Whew. Up from here. Speaking it into being. Up from here. I have a completely unreasonable love for these spinny doors. And there's one at the library. <laughs> I don't care if I'm judged that I like to go around twice. I just don't care. So I'm in the campus library and since it's summer there's like no one here. Normally the place is kind of buzzing, but I brought a bunch of budget mail to campus today because it's been five weeks since I've been here and I haven't replied to any mail that I've gotten. I've been reading it and I've been loving it and I've been filming my reactions to it, but I haven't been writing back. I just haven't been able to find the time. So I brought it to campus today. I hauled it here and I decided to take my lunch hour to reply to it. But apparently it has been way too long since I've written back because I made a grievous error and decided I was apparently writing to myself and pre-filled all of these cards with my return address because apparently I've lost my damn mind. Fortunately, whiteout is a thing and I won't have to like throw away these postcards which were not the cheapest thing on the planet. Um, I mean, I got a good deal on them. I ordered them in bulk, but uh, unfortunately, I didn't actually bring that many cards so I may not be able to reply to them all today, but I will fit this into my schedule because it's important to me. So. I'm gonna keep reading y'all's sweet cards and everything like that. I really do love them. So, spend my lunch hour writing back to y'all. Okay, one kind of good thing about campus, and by the way, I spent most of my lunch hour replying to budget mail, and now I have a significantly smaller pile that I still need to reply to. Um, I'm sad to admit that there were a few letters that I picked up on my last days at Mina in there, and that's just pathetic. <laughs> um, but good thing about kind of starting work here in the summer is that all of the little cafes and restaurants on campus are closed and therefore I am not tempted to spend my money. I mean, I wasn't really anyway. My plan of course is to bring my lunch because that's what I do. But you know how it is like late in the afternoon, it, uh, you get hungry, you've already eaten all your food and you're like, I could just swing through cafe but they're all closed. So I don't have that option. I either need to bring more food or not eat as much. Probably both very viable options. And it's a pretty day on campus, as you can see. Very pretty. And I'm just walking back to my building since I was at the library and I'm gonna get back to work. Oh, and I'm hosting a pool party tonight that I'm so freaking excited. Exciting? Yeah, excited about for um, some of my new friends. So maybe I'll take a clip there. Maybe not because there's water involved, but I'm excited about it. So you have a picture of me going, uh, I know I was like, well, now I have a video. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone say hi to the internet. Hi, internet. Hello. And now they're. Howdy. We have food. And now the railroads. Uh, so it used to be mm -hmm. river. Jump in. <laughs> this I'm is what I was doing. I was just going to wait for the water to like. I'm just going to. Yeah. Woo! Ha ha ha! Wait, how did you find that thing? With my feet. No. It's funny, I think you're smoking more backwards than you are forward. <laughs> you did not get to say hi to the internet earlier. Hello. Hundreds of Hello. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm hanging my phone over my pool at this point, and that's very scary to me, so I'm going to stop.